Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jack Graham, Realtor here in Las Vegas, giving you today a housing market update. We're gonna go over mortgage rate uh, trends, what's happening with mortgage rates, are they going up and down? Uh, we're gonna go over the inventory, how much the media sales price is out here in Las Vegas Valley. And uh, we're also gonna cover a little bit of new builds, what's happening in the new builds, and give you my personal opinion from someone that is in the market every day, uh, showing homes every day and you know selling houses to give you like an idea of what I see out there What are sellers doing? What are buyers doing? What what's happening out there? With that said, let's get right into it mortgage rates trends uh, 30 year fixed interest rate on a mortgage uh, is actually a, You know about seven and a quarter right now for uh, someone that has uh, an interest rate of anywhere between 680 to 740 if you bring up this uh, interest rate, even if you have the best interest rate, you're looking at 7.12% interest rate. So we've seen a big spike ever since uh, last year where we were at, uh, you know, average mortgage at around 2.75 interest rate for 30 years going up in the summer. It went up all the way until six. Then we had a little correction in the, uh, you know, in the fall around September or so where interest rates went back down to five and a half five to five and a half and then we saw interest rates uh, skyrocket again right now we're at around seven and a quarter or so for the average person you know if you uh, depending on the lender that you use and also the credit score that you have the percentage of down payment and all these things your debt to income ratio it, your interest rate might vary but you're probably looking at two and a half, sorry, seven and a quarter to seven and a half percent, which in uh, in our history is not really that high. But uh, if you look at compared to what we had in the last year, where we were at two and three quarters percent, it is quite an upgrade, right? It's quite an increase. So it's causing a lot of affordability issues with uh, with a lot of buyers. We have I have personally clients that, for example, cannot sell their houses anymore in California because uh, they were trying to get their home sold. And I told them, you know, get rid of it right away. Uh, that way, you know, for sure uh, you can sell your house, take out the money and then you buy the house, the house out here. Right. And uh, they're not able to sell their houses out there in California. They have to cancel uh, their their purchase contract uh, out here in Vegas because they cannot get it sold. Uh, some people are getting a little bit creative. They're going and renting it out and uh, still making a lot of money because rent prices are staying high. But, uh, you know, at the same time, they're not able to take out their equity that they were hoping to take out back in uh, you know, back a few months ago when they got on the contract. Anyway, we're here at, uh, you know, really high interest rates right now. And let's look a little bit at the market, what's happening with inventory and all that stuff. Okay, sales price, the average sales price. If we look at this is in the last three years, we've seen prices go up substantially. As you can see, March 2019, we were at $270,000 average sales price here, median sales price, sorry here in Las Vegas, going up all the way until $445,000 for the median sales price in June of 2022. That's when we were at the peak uh, back during this year because interest rates were so low, so people could afford a lot of home. Now that interest rates are so high and prices are still high, and that you know the mortgage payment for an average person purchasing a home is going to be a lot higher compared to what it was back at the beginning of the year with that said 445 now we are going down uh, we saw uh, you know the average sales price go down from 440 $45,000 down to $410,000 and then you know we saw a little bit of a increase dip uh, sorry increase in, in purchase price from August to September uh, from $410,000 median sales price up to $418,000. And I did a video about this, how home prices went up month over a month out here. But in that video I also mentioned, hey, prices might be well be coming down in the future because interest rates then start going up again. And that's why we are right now at a median sales price of $405,000. We have to go back to January of this year where we had median sales price of $400,000. Now, overall, if you look at the data here, 
let's go to Las Vegas. And you look at the year over year increase as well as the seasonal adjustment. You see right here that you know home prices, let's look at the median sales price. It usually tends to kind of level off at the end of the year. Uh, where is it? At least activity does, but median sales price usually tends to go down a little bit towards uh, the holidays, you know, towards the end of the year. In this case, because of the last year, how crazy it's been uh, the last two years, we don't see that decrease here in, in this graph. But usually you have a little bit of a decrease in uh, not only the activity on the market during the holidays, but also prices as well. You go to, however, how many homes are available on the market. Let's go back to our MLS. We look at homes for sale. We have right now 11,521 homes or so. This is in the entire MLS of the Las Vegas Valley. Okay, so North Las Vegas, Henderson, Las Vegas, Boulder City. We've got it all in here. And that's 11,521 houses. Uh, back in August, we had 12,000 houses. But we've seen this uh, decrease right here. I'm not saying it can't it can't go up again, but we've seen a little bit of a decrease in inventory, which is something that kind of lines up with my theory of what's going to happen to the housing market in the future here in Las Vegas. And I'm going to go over that, uh, you know, sh shortly towards the end of the video and give me my opinion. Let's see pending sales. Now this is huge because we have we haven't had such low activity uh, since. Literally the pandemic, pandemic and during the pandemic in April 2020, we had 2,106 homes sold in April 2020. Right now, we have 2,355 homes sold in October 2022. So very, very low activity and we still have some inventory, a lot of new home inventory that is getting sold right now with some great discounts. I'm going to go over that also when I cover the, the market out here in Vegas. Um, but 2,355 homes, you know, sold, that's very little compared to this summer where it was 4,600, 4,700 homes back in March being sold in one month. That is crazy. So if we have 2,300 homes and then we have inventory of, we said we have homes for sale, we have an inventory of 11,500 21. Oh, this is the pending sales though. So yeah, that, that should work. Yes. So pending sales 2400. Uh, and then we have almost 12,000. So we're about four months of inventory on the market, which is, which is going towards the seller's market more, you know, we're it is more of a seller's market because of the current, you know, prices that we have right now. And, and you know, just prices correcting. And uh, buyers have uh, the advantage right now in the market. Uh, it's just the way it is compared to what we had earlier during the uh, during the year. Now you go to, for example, Redfin over here, and you look at the median sales price. Look how much went up back from four hundred thousand all the way to four fifty six. That's crazy. Anyway, let's get back to the to the data. Let's go over a few more things, and then we'll wrap it up with my thoughts. We have the closed sales. Sales are down big time. The actual closed sales, we have 2,358 sales uh, you know, in October. I think a lot of realtors right now are hurting big time because they're not able to sell any homes or probably half the homes that they were selling back then, if not even less than half uh, than what they were selling back in the summer. But we also have a lot more realtors that came out. Uh, you know, In Vegas, we have 18,000 realtors. So having all those realtors and no inventory not not many homes are moving a lot of realtors i think are hurting as well as other people people in the industry that are you know builders handyman all that stuff it's all going to suffer from from what's happening right now to the housing market and how much is slowing down but does that mean that the housing prices are going to keep going down or housing affordability um we'll go over that in a second once we once we cover a few more things right here, price per square foot, that's what I wanted to see. This is interesting because, yes, the median sales price has gone down. However, that doesn't account for square footage. So if people start buying smaller homes, 
and listen to this, if people start buying smaller homes, what happens is the price per square foot, it, I mean, the price per square foot might not go down. In fact, you look at this. Back in March, we were at $256 per square foot. It went up to 270 per square foot. And now it's corrected to 252. But we've seen in October an increase to 253. So this is telling me something different. So median sales price compared to average uh, price per square footage is different. It's two different things because the median sales price tells you that, hey, this is how much the average home is sold here in Las Vegas. But if the average home square footage goes from 2,400 square feet to, let's say, 2,000 square feet, because people start realizing, hey, I can't get the bedroom downstairs that I want for my mother-in-law. I'm going to have to get a, a smaller home. Then that accounts into the, into the equation of price per square foot. And that's where we're going to see in my opinion, this price per square foot is start, going to start adjusting a lot faster than median sales price. And let me get to that thought really quick, trying to be as clear as possible on this. Because if you look at a home, let's say, let me give you a good example that could break this down. So we have, as I said, let's say the average home that you can buy right now for the median sales price, which is $405,000 here in Vegas, is let's call it 2,000 square feet. Okay, but now people, instead of buying a 2,000 square feet home, need to adjust because interest rates are so high. They can't afford to buy a home that high. And something needs to give, right? You just can't afford that monthly payment. So instead of prices decreasing, because at the end of the day, the cost to build a home and inventory not is very high, right? And inventory is not existent pretty much because we only have 11,000 homes. That's not many homes, right? Even though it's it's quite a bit, but it's four months of inventory. And if it keeps, if it goes down after this winter, uh, then we might see people that have to adjust their, uh, their wants. Instead of getting that 2,000 square feet home, now people need to squeeze into a 1,600 square feet home. And that price per square foot can stay high with interest rates being higher as well. That, I think, is what is going to give the most. Prices might give in a little bit more, in my opinion, and that would be my prediction. Again, this is just just a prediction. I could be completely wrong, okay? Um, I don't have a magic, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? The magic ball to see the, the, the future, uh, the crystal ball. But this is just me thinking what's going to happen because I just don't see prices going down that much with this inflationary environment. Everything gets it's more expensive. Uh, labor is more expensive. Homes, are, as a consequence, will be more expensive to purchase and also to build. OK, so with that said, I think prices are going to stay pretty high per square foot, although we might see uh, average sales price, average median price going down, but average sales price stays steady, in my opinion. Uh, I hope you, that was clear. If not, let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think about that. Now, let's go over inventory here in Las Vegas and what's happening with these builders. The, you know, how much inventory do they have? I'm going to try to compare all the builders and what I'm seeing out there. So, Start down here, let's see what we have. Inspirata, down in the south of Henderson right here. We have, uh, KB is the biggest builder, they sell the most homes. They're actually still selling down there. Uh, the price has not corrected as much as other communities in Las Vegas, where KB we've seen pretty much citywide. They decrease prices on average around $50,000. Inspirata is, the one, is one of those neighborhoods that has uh, been hit the least, where we only saw, I believe, twenty to thirty thousand dollars reduction in purchase in the base price of the home. Okay, and that's here in its Broadway KB. They sold the most homes, uh, but you know it's it's just a case by case scenario. This one is actually the one of the ones that has been hurt the less here in Inspirata. That's because they have really good school districts. Everybody coming out from out of town, especially with the work from home transition that we're having. Uh, a lot of people from California moving out here to Las Vegas, they need the good schools. 
what's the alternative to Summerlin, which is very expensive? And that is Inspirata, which has some of the best school districts as well here in town. Go out to the southwest here, uh, the Las Vegas Valley, and we look at KB as well, is the biggest builder down here by far. Also Pulte, I guess. Uh, they're, they're pretty huge down here, but I think KB sells the most homes out here. And then we have uh, Pulte as well, as I mentioned. So KB drop price is 50000 across the, the valley. They're not negotiating on anything right now. They're saying, hey, we already dropped the price to 50000 Take it or leave it. In fact, you see some of their new communities right now, they're selling like cupcakes. They just opened a community called Mercara, where I had uh, a client that purchased a home out here. And uh, two weeks, they sold 10 homes. That's pretty impressive. And that's the issue, you know, with, you know, where, yeah, you they drop prices, but now they're selling big time, you know. So it's, it's a really interesting situation that we're in here in this market where you think, oh, nobody's buying, nobody's buying, but some communities are selling quick. Now you look at other communities such as uh, Pulte, right? Pulte has the most inventory, like ready to move in, quick move-ins homes in the valley. They're giving crazy discounts across the valley. And it doesn't matter which community it is, just discounting homes left and right. And uh, they were already doing it a few months ago, but now it's getting pretty intense. And uh, you know, that's where I'm starting to think, wow, this this is really good deal. Some clients of mine, they got a home, you know, that was selling for nine hundred fifty thousand dollars literally a few months back, like five months ago. And still people closing nowadays with that price, that purchase price, that now are selling for $775,000. That's almost $200,000 discount with crazy incentives, which makes the net discount probably around $200,000. Big time. And it depends. It's also a price range situation. You look at KB, they sell more of the lower price range homes, you know, up to 600,000. So they're not getting hit as much, I believe, as for example, that price range where it goes above the limit of the conventional loan. Conventional loan is, I believe right now, as of right now, 641, but it's supposed to be in January 710 or 720, the loan limits, right? So uh, here, uh, you know, KB is getting hurt less because they're within that conventional limit, which helps people buy a home, right, with less down payments. But people that are in the upper end of, you know, like $800,000, $900,000, those are the people that need to put down a big chunk of down payment in order to qualify for that conventional loan. So they're the ones that are getting hurt the most, I believe. And you see all other communities right here, Pulte as well, that I don't want to call out specific communities because I don't want to say how much those homes are selling for. But I'm just giving you a good idea, like a general idea. So KB slash prices, but not not negotiating. Pulte negotiating uh, big time to get rid of their inventory. So what Pulte did back in, uh, you know, 2020 and 2021, they started building a bunch of spec homes because of supply shortages and such high demand with the low interest rates. They said, look, let's build as many homes as we can. Let's hire as many people as we can and put them to work and say, build these homes and then we'll just sell them all ready to go with all the specs included into the house we'll sell them for top dollar and that's what was happening now they have a bunch of inventory to unload i think they have probably half of the inventory here in town between all the builders that they need to sell because they overbuilt and they're the ones that are suffering the most right now now here's the thing they look at it as a business transaction so it, they're not emotional about their homes. They're just trying to get rid of their inventory. And once they do get rid of it, that's where things are going to turn around. That's where I'm uh, I'm a little bit skeptical because people think that prices are going to keep going down. And that's where I think things are going to turn around a little bit. Taylor Morrison, this was overpriced before. Still overpriced right now, I think. But still negotiating on these prices. I'm actually now about 10%. Overall, we're about down 10% here in the Las Vegas Valley uh, as far as the median sales price, though. Uh, Dear Horton here, still selling well in the Southwest. They do spec homes, so they're not they're not stuck with their base price and things like that. They can fluctuate and change pricing. They can adapt easily, so they're selling and they're selling well. But uh, I think Pulte is the one that's getting hit the most. We have Lennar getting hit really bad uh, because they do also spec homes a lot, but they're dropping prices depending on the location quite a bit. I've, 
gotten a few deals that are just crazy, you know, way under market value um, with, with Lennar. Um, Dior Horton as well, good discounts as well. Uh, the ones that are not suffering as much as the ones that are, oh, uh, the ones that the that are dropping the base price that you, you know, like re- homes that you build from scratch where people kind of personalize and customize their home, which is the ones that are not getting suffered the most because they don't have inventory to liquidate. So they don't care if they don't sell their house for the price that they're asking for it. They'll just wait for the market to recover for them to sell the house. So that's what's happening. I've seen a few layoffs and a few builders. I don't want to call in anyone out, but I've seen Toll Brothers lay off a few of their salespeople as well as Pulte and, and other ones because they don't know what to do with those people. There's no people coming in. They don't they don't have a need for it, and they had to do some layoffs, understandably so, you know, but uh, it's sad to see some of the people that I've been working with, you know, not getting not having a job anymore, but I'm sure they'll do great things in the future with someone else or somewhere else, you know. Uh, Summerlin is, uh, has actually been doing pretty well. Uh, Summerlin is uh, one of those neighborhoods that does very well, just like uh, Inspirata. You know, you have some of the best schools. People are still coming out here to Las Vegas. That's not going to change. Uh, and, you know, people with money coming out here to Las Vegas sold their houses for millions of dollars and relocating out here or maybe having a tech job, work from home. You know, that's the place to go. You have the money to afford it. Why not? Just get a home that, that you're comfortable with. And, you know, get in the best school districts. And that's why it's suffering the least, you know, these two neighborhoods, Summerlin and Inspirata, just because of that reason specifically, I believe. And it's just this is just me speculating. I'm not saying that that's actually, you know, the, the case. But, well, that's what I'm seeing, you know. But I'm speculating that that's the reason why, because of the school districts. Uh, Sky Canyon, suffering, but not too much. Uh, you know, we have uh, builders like Century Communities. Uh, we have Toll Brothers up there. Uh, the Toll Brothers are suffering. They were overpriced before. I was about to buy a home up there because I love their floor plans and all. But they're suffering now because they're already overpriced. And now the market corrected. And, you know, not overpriced. It was, it was a good price for the neighborhood and everything. But now that the market corrected, they, are, they haven't adjusted their prices. And it's it's tough for them to get rid of the to sell homes they're selling very slow is what i'm saying and uh you know things are coming back to normal finally we have a, a market that is more uh, you know calm and we're going back where you know builders are actually giving and you know the commissions that the realtors deserve so pretty much all the builders are paying commissions if they some of them are still at two percent versus the average that is around three percent some builders are desperate they're giving four percent commissions to realtors so you see a slowdown in the activity uh you know as far as how many homes are getting sold about half of the homes or even more than half about 55 percent of uh, uh you know slowdown ever since the peak of this summer but if we compare that, however, to the 2019, because that's that's the important part, right? That, we know that COVID uh, freaked everybody out. Everything got messed up, right? And 2020 and 2021 are not really the years that you can compare the market to. You would have to compare it to 2019 at least. So if we look at, for example, here at the pending sales, which is the amount of homes that are under contract, right? And we compare this with 2019. We see, you know, early in the year, we were way up. All right, compared to this blue line. Let me take out the, the other ones, 2020 and 2021, which were just insane. Now we see we do have a lot less activity, as you can see. Year over year, we're 60% down, right? But, you know, here, even, even here in 2019, you see the activity goes down during the holidays, you know, where the you know, sales price usually go down, goes down, activity goes down. But here we had all these people buy throughout these three years, with 3% mortgage interest rates. Now, they don't need to move. Who wants to move if you have to move and get a 7% interest rate? Well, of course, we're going to get this decline of how many people are buying a home. Now, this is not sales price. This is strictly amount of homes sold, which means less activity in the market, which slows down the economy the economy and all. And that was the the reason why what the what the federal reserve is trying to do slow down the market slow down everything so that they can slow down inflation 
and that's their only way, their only tool that they have to slow down inflation. After they printed a bunch of money ever since the beginning of you know 2020, and now they're stuck with an inflation issue that they can't get rid of. But I'll talk about that on to my second channel uh, as soon as I get a video out, and that's gonna be probably tomorrow uh, onto the second channel. And uh, if you if you guys want to subscribe to the second channel and get those videos link is down below in the description this video is strictly for housing market update for the las vegas valley anyway let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comments what is the market doing in your opinion uh, based on this criteria what do you think of my opinion i think if i have to summarize it i think what's going to happen now we have home prices declining because of all the existing inventory that we have all these people that are trying to move and all the builders that built so many homes like Pulte, Lennar, Leo Horton, and trying to get rid of the, all this inventory right now before the year ends because they're publicly traded companies. We have all this inventory that is getting sold at a discount right now. And my, my theory right here, and I might be wrong, but this is my theory, is throughout the end of the year, beginning of 2023, possibly, but possibly even just by, by the end of the year, we're going to see this inventory getting sucked up and all, all these buyers that are still in the market trying to buy that couldn't buy before because it was just nuts, right? Saying, hey, there's so many good discounts right now. Let's get a home. Getting all this, oh, getting rid of all this inventory, you know, and now builders are going to be left without anything to sell, especially if interest rates turn around and they go back to 3% and buyers start coming out of their shell saying oh shoot i gotta get into it right away but even if they don't once we don't have any inventory my take is there's still going to be low activity as far as how many homes sell but those homes that sell they need to sell for a good price and that's where i think people are going to adjust to this um seven percent interest rate maybe eight nine ten i don't know what it's going to be and then home prices per square foot is going to stay up as well as the average sales price of a house because people what they, what they will do is they will have to live in smaller homes. If you have a single family home, you're gonna have to downgrade to the town home. If you have a town home, you're gonna have to downgrade to a condo. If you have a luxury home, 1.5 million, or maybe you need to buy a $1 million home. But uh, you know that's what I think is gonna happen in the future. Anyway, let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comments. If you guys need a realtor to represent you out here in Las Vegas and, and do your best interest to negotiate uh, this crazy market that we're in, always, ready to earn your business and uh, get you to the best deal possible for you. All my information is down below in the description. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.